What is up, Arrowverse fans? Not vigilantes, not species, not something else, but all of the Arrowverse combined because uh, we have found out that Batman is not coming to the CW, yet this shouldn't necessarily be a surprise. Now, this update about Batman not coming to the CW, it comes from Entertainment Weekly, and they got this from Mark Pedowitz, but yeah, this just kind of made me think about the crossover, the Batwoman show that's coming, and the premise behind that, because if you guys remember from the report that we got previously, that apparently Gotham is in need of a savior. So it just makes you think, Bruce, Bruce, where are you, Bruce? And seeing this news, you know that Batman will not be showing up on the small screen, kind of like how Superman did on uh, Supergirl anytime soon. That isn't necessarily surprising, as I said, because I didn't actually, I didn't, I really didn't think a Batman would come, but I thought they would do a good job of trying to reference as to why he isn't there. Maybe we'll still get that. We'll discuss that in a minute. But before we read out the exact quote, guys, if you want to see more videos just like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you do go on to enjoy it, why not hit that like button, as it really does show your support for the channel. So from Instagram, Weekly, they say that the CW president Mark Pedowitz confirmed Batman would not be showing up on the small screen anytime soon. There's no discussion about a series. Batman already exists in the Arrowverse because last season Oliver Queen mentioned his name at one point, and Batwoman, if the series goes forward, lives in Gotham. There's no plan at this time to have Batman appear. And that's it. That's quite literally it. But there's still quite a bit we can discuss it. Now, I, I I think maybe he was referencing a Batman series. Freaking fly. So yeah, I think he was referencing a series there. There, there is no discussion about a series. But the, the more important... I, I think that's kind of a no-brainer. I didn't think there was going to be a Batman series anyway. I, I, I don't know. I, did you think that? And this is kind of cool anyway, just hearing them say it officially, even though we know Oliver Queen said it, but it could have just been a major throwaway Easter egg. But, you know, with the crossover coming and everything like that, oh, we thought, or oh, maybe we might get a little Bruce Wayne cameo in a way. Uh, in terms of, you know, him saying that uh, Oliver Queen mentioned his name at one point, Batman already exists in the Arrowverse. It's just, I think what a lot of people have been getting the impression with is that due to the crossover being or, or it taking place at least at one point, if not all of the, the crossover, but most likely just a little bit of it, uh, in Gotham City, you would have thought that we would have got some reference to Batman. Not necessarily see him, and we still might get reference to him, but now we know we're definitely, definitely not going to see him. And I think that would have been really cool if they somehow pulled that off. Considering this crossover is a major, major kind of testing ground for a new character and a new series coming to the CW, uh, Batwoman, uh, you just would have thought that they would lay down some groundwork potentially with Bruce Wayne. And as I mentioned earlier, the biggest issue I have is with the synopsis of Batwoman. Uh, it's just the fact that they say Gotham is in need of a savior and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm paraphrasing here, but they did say, like, Gotham doesn't really currently have a savior. Like, where is the Batman? Why is he around? Do you think this statement from the president of the CW uh, means that we're not even going to get any references? I think they definitely have to be careful because it's kind of like, you know, how Gotham can't use the joke or certain characters are kind of in a gilded cage for the movies in a way. They don't want to use you know, Bruce Wayne or like Batman, uh, in particular Batman, on the CW or shows that are, you know, on the small screen, just in case. I think it's really important though that we get a bit more than a sentence maybe during the crossover. I know that is kind of considering myself lucky there, but I feel like we need it. I feel like we need to know why Bruce isn't around. As he decided to do the Dark Knight Returns and just go off to freaking France or wherever freaking Christian Bale went or something like that, or is he just kind of in his mid 50s and now this is why Batwoman's coming around? Around, or is Bruce Wayne more like Oliver Queen's age? And that's why he name dropped him. I mean, he didn't name drop him just because, you know, they might be the same age. But you know what I mean? They might be... You know, you know what? I think he did name drop him because they were like, you know, similar playboy billionaire kind of people. So yeah, during this crossover, as we know, we're definitely not getting the Batman even appearing as, I don't know, even as just Bruce Wayne or even just as a freaking shadow in the distance. I want the answer and I want Oliver Queen or someone like that to say... Why Why the bat symbol? Or like, probably or Oliver already knows due to the name drop in, um, you know, when he name dropped Bruce Wayne in Arrow. But I want somebody to ask, like, what's with the bat? Like, and then she might say, like, ah, oh, you would have to ask, you know, this guy. And then that's a tease to Bruce Wayne or something like that. Because I don't want Batwoman... 
I don't want for the CW to pretend as if Batwoman's the only Bat family member out there. That would just be silly. It would be stupid. Batman is the OG guy in Gotham City looking out for it. I need a reason. I need a rhyme. I need to know why he isn't there. Beyond just uh, in brackets, we can't use him. Low rights issues, low bra close brackets. I can't, I can't deal with that. I need something in the story. Please, 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 please. But I don't know, guys. I can't keep this video going for any longer. Otherwise, I would just keep repeating myself. But what I really want to know from you guys is... As we're definitely not getting the Batman character in the CW anytime soon, so, you know, definitely not in the crossover or anything like that. Since we're getting the Batwoman show, well, potentially, but we're definitely getting the character in the crossover and we know we're going to Gotham City, do you definitely want some kind of answer as to where Bruce Wayne is? Why the, you know, like, Batwoman is even even dressed like a bat? I mean, we better bloody see some Batwoman armor. Uh, but you, know, you get what I mean. Do you think we'll get any references um, if we count ourselves lucky? I really, I really hope so, because I just don't want it to be I don't know, just as if it was all completely original. You know, I want it, I want some kind of, I want some kind of leeway from Warner Brothers or sorry, DC to, you know, give them the ability to give a decent explanation for once. But other than that, guys, that is the video. If you did go ahead and enjoy it and you got this far in the video, be sure to hit that like button as it really does show you support for the channel. And if you're brand new to this channel, why not subscribe for more DC videos just like this? As always, links are in the description below to my social media. Why not follow me on Twitter to stay a little bit more up to date with me personally? Do consider pledging to my Patreon as it really does help fuel the content that I create on this channel. But other than that, everyone, that is everything I've got to say. I think I've said that twice now, but I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.